Hello, we are back with our Bible lesson, Feeling Accepted by Christ. Today is our Thursday lesson, and we will continue. This is the last one of the week. Tomorrow, um, you just have your written work to do and your Bible verse to turn in, of course, for only 5th through 8th, not 3rd and 4th, because I know 3rd and 4th watches this too. So just don't forget, 5th um, through 8th, turn in your work and get your memory verse done and entered. Okay, let's uh, continue with our verse. It says, All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. John six thirty seven. And again, all the Father me shall to me, and that to me I in no cast John. All right, and one more time, you can say it on your own there at home, and then we will continue to our lesson. Okay, we're talking about today the prodigal son. I'm sure you've all learned this story before about the son who wanted to get all his inheritance, wanted his father to give everything to him so that he could leave. He didn't want to live with his father. Too many rules, too much work, too, much, too many things to do. He wanted to be free. And so he decided to go to another land. He went, he started to party, he had all kinds of friends, and he had a really good time. But then there was a famine in there, and there was no more money. All his money was gone, and he had to work. He had to work, imagine. And the only job that he could find was to feed the pigs. Okay, and as he looked at them, he was so hungry, and he wanted a piece of their food, wanted some corn husks that they were eating. He says, oh, and then he started, he started to remember that in his father's house, even the servants had plenty of food to eat. And he says, oh, I've come to a, such a terrible state. But then he says in Luke 15, 18 through 20, he says, I will arise and go to my father. I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. So even he wanted to be a servant. The servants that were under the, the, his father were much better treated were in a better situation than he was. He says, make me like one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But look what happened. But when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. What a beautiful story Jesus uh, told here that the father was looking probably every day, looking for his wayfaring um, son to come back. And he looked, and when he saw him, from far away he saw him, he ran, he ran so fast, running there to see and to realize that his son has come back. He didn't look at how he was dressed, at how how dirty he was and how probably skinny because he was hadn't been eaten. He didn't look at anything outward. He knew his son. He loved his son. And he wanted his son with him. And he went there and he hugged him and he kissed him and he gave him new clothes and made him come back home and had a feast for him, right? We know the story. And this story is beautiful because how it relates to us is we are in the same situation. We want our freedom. We are sinful. But yet, when we realize our sins and we realize that we in this world cannot do anything good and we cannot save ourselves, when we realize that, then we look to our 
Heavenly Father. And He comes to us and He runs and He doesn't care of how we look on the outside. He knows we are His children. He takes us and hugs us and wants to make a feast for us. And He will one day when He comes and gathers His saints. He will take them to Him and He will make a feast and be so happy with us. And yet we really don't deserve it, right? We, we don't deserve everything that God wants to give us, but yet He does. And we need to be very, very thankful for that. I know I am, and I'm pretty sure that you are too. Beautiful lesson, feeling accepted by Christ. I hope that you all feel accepted by Christ and know, like our memory verse, that He will never cast us out. He will never send us away if we go to Him with our with our heart, with our true heart, He will forgive us and He will accept us. Don't ever doubt that. He is there for you and for me. Take care. God bless and hope you have a wonderful weekend and I hope that we can um, see each other soon and I'm so happy for um, this uh, virus. I think it seems to be going away but we still have some waiting to do so Let's see how things go, okay? All right, take care and um, stay safe. Bye.